Hey, what's up? Today I am with Chuck Fender, the fantastic reggae artist, aka the poor people's defender. He's going to tell us everything about what he's been up to. Yeah. Welcome. Give thanks, give thanks. This is a warning, a warning for the evil of the street. You're a poor people's defender, but you're really interested in ensuring that poverty is highlighted through yeah. what you're talking about. Exactly. Tell us why that's so important to you. I'm coming from the gutter. Mm -hmm. I'm coming from the slum. I'm coming from nothing. So what we see is just really music and the suffering. A lot of my friends them got killed. Yeah. I wanted to come through mm -hmm. to see them, some of my friends them. Yeah. They don't see no other way out. They don't, they don't have no whoops, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? There, there's no opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. You had a, a really politically charged song, Gash Dem, yeah. and you were making a statement, you were referencing you know, real life events, and yeah. yet that song got banned on the radio stations exactly. in Jamaica. Did it make you feel that you need to water down your message in any no, way? No, because that just show you how society is. Oh, you're speaking up, you know what I mean, on certain issues, but yet still the government come in and say, yo, this song cannot be played. And I don't see nothing wrong with this song. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm inciting violence. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not saying to go and kill all rapists. I'm just saying this is wrong. I came in to do a song like this and say, yo, we have to try to do something. We have to stop mm. these monsters. This song has to haunt them. So they look into their self and they say, we cannot do this to kids. But when God will you, no if now, no but no but that tell the Almighty, oh, maybe, yes, they might lie, them. For the negative vibes that they might bring. And, and tell us about the transformation for you, because at one point you did used to write about violence, about guns and that sort exactly. of thing, and now you can't advocate hearing that sort of music no. on the radio. Back then, my song was, just, was killing too much people. But after, after I was there doing those type of songs, the Almighty just come to me and say, I need you to do my work now. Yeah. And I just find myself just don't want to sing those songs anymore. No Producers yeah. come and say, could you record a gun song on this rhythm? And I told him, I don't want to sing no more gun song, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would have to walk the, the bad road first. Yeah. So I could tell you about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm on the righteous path. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cool. So I could teach you it. And I walk into the ghetto, kids like 15, 16, 25, 30, they'll come to me and say, Chuck Fender, you motivate me. Yeah. You let me start looking to myself. You let me stop shooting people, you let me stop running people. Your latest album, <laughs> Jar Element, tell us about the sound of that. It's a powerful album, you know what I mean? They have a track with me and Bounty Killer on it. You need to mm -hmm. get this album, it's like food to your soul. Well, Chuck Fender, it's been so brilliant to meet you, and I really hope that the people watching today really pick up your message of righteousness through your lyrics. So, yeah. thank you so, so much. Yeah, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the support. Thanks for having me on the show. I just want to say hi to all my fans and big up. I love them endlessly because without them, I'm nothing.